Headline, May 18th, the Daily Princetonian. Gibson to be class day speaker. May 18th. <laughs> that was less than two weeks ago. <laughs> Quote from the article. This year's announcement comes unusually late. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Further quote from the article. Neither the class president nor the class day co-chairs would comment on whether they originally planned to invite Gibson. <laughs> Folks, I didn't just get off the turnip boat. <laughs> of course they didn't. I remarked to a member of the administration that the invitation came to me so late that so many people must have said no <laughs> that it probably came down to me or Freddie the Stock Boy from University Supplies. <laughs> he reassured me on that point. But just as I was walking up here, Shirley handed me, I was going to say it was a secret source, but Shirley gave it to me, <laughs> the top 10 rejection letters sent to your class day chairs by people invited to speak here today. <laughs> now, I, I'm reading this just along with you. I'm learning who they were, just as you learn. Number 10. Oprah Winfrey wrote, thank you for the 3,715th invitation I've received to speak at a graduation. Princeton has made the wait list. <laughs> I didn't come up here to get booed, folks. I didn't. <laughs> Number nine, Sarah Ferguson. I'll come for 40,000 and throw in a meeting with my ex. Jesse James? You invited Jesse James? <laughs> Would love to come. Therapist won't let me be around a group that includes 600 women. <laughs> Number seven, Michelle Obama. Bad day for me. The rutabagas will be just coming up in my garden. <laughs> James Gandolfini. Forget about it. <laughs> Number five, Tiger Woods. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Number four, Sarah Palin wrote, where's New Jersey? Can I see it from my backyard? <laughs> Number three, uh-oh. Number three is from Freddie the Stock Boy. <laughs> Thanks, but in this economic climate, you don't want anyone associated with stocks. Number two, Lindsay Lohan. She wrote in crayon. <laughs> Would love to show you my pretty new ankle bracelet, but we'll have to stay in California. <laughs> and the number one rejection leader you received, and this is the real one, Will Farrell. In a letter dated May 2010, thank you for your letter of September 2009. I'm too busy being a real anchor man, get a fake one like Gibson. <laughs> now, I'm not hurt that I wasn't the first choice, or 10th. I'm used to this. Just this past Friday, the New York Times published a list of dorm rooms of famous people who attended Princeton. Was I mentioned? No. <laughs> Michelle Obama, Bill Bradley, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Elena Kagan, Sonia Sotomayor, okay. But Elliot Spitzer? 
and Lyle Menendez? Menendez is in a California prison for the rest of his life. No Gibson. For the record, 18 Middle Dodd, two years in 3A Campbell, and senior year in 6A Patton Tower. Now I feel a whole lot better. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes is attributed to Charles Eliot, a great past president of Harvard. He was asked why Harvard is such a great repository of knowledge. And he replied, Madam, it is because our freshmen arrive here with so much of it, and our seniors leave with so little. <laughs> Need I point out, you are seniors leaving Princeton. But you are all class of 2010, young people of privilege. <laughs>